Why do I have to fight this much just to see my kids and to make sure they are okay? If there is a justice system in this country. There is a common saying that nothing compares to a mother's love for her children and we have begun to see this in reality as Precious Chikwendu, the 32-year-old ex-wife of former Minister of Aviation Femi Fani Kayode, fights tooth and nail always possible to see her children, while the 61-year-old politician who hopes to become Nigeria's president someday uses all his power to keep the young children away from their biological mother. The children, where are they? Yeah, with him, I haven't seen them since August 2nd, 2020. Since August 2nd, 2020, you've not seen your children? I've not seen my children. After keeping the issues private for over a year, hoping the Nigerian court of law will grant her justice, Precious decided to come out publicly for the first time to cry out and tell her side of the story in an exclusive interview with Jude Gideon War. A personal interview, I haven't done one. I just intend to state these facts out especially with the constant intimidation from the police mm -hmm. on his behalf. Mm -hmm. She made some shocking revelations that have got many tearing up and feeling a pain. She said she's granting the interview, clearing her name and fighting for her kids on social media. Because she wants her kids to know she stood up for herself and them, she also fears her kids may end up like their father should they grow up with him. Hence, the reason she's relentless about a custody fight. Having no other option, the former beauty queen with heartbreak and tears has resorted in appealing to every mother in Nigeria to join forces with her or lend their voice to help save her children from the hands of their heartless father who denied his children the love of their mother but instead surround them with nannies and house helps while traveling around the country meeting his friends and brothers for these political dreams as precious cries out narrating a side of the story many women have begun training the hashtag justice for snow white precious has to run to the court of public opinion for more help since the nigerian court is not doing its best to reunite her and her children anytime soon over the years, the court of public opinion has been very powerful and can help influence the court of law. Will Precious Chikwendu's public outcry for justice help the mother of four young children see her children again anytime soon? Hello guys, it's Tiko here for African Glitz. It never sunk into me that it could come with hate mm. because I don't see how someone you once professed to love and say all the amazing things in this world too, mm. you would wake up and prop up charges that are capable of getting that person out of this world like any beauty queen was a hot cake precious chikwendu must have felt she hit the jackpot after meeting the former minister of aviation femi fani Kayode. describing how she met him she said the flight back to abuja he was on the same flight when i got to abuja i was trying to retrieve my luggage mm. a fan um personnel accosted me and he let him have my number he's going to lose his job that someone who's high up there says he must get the number or he loses his job. What made me have some sort of friendship with him at mm. that time was the stories he told me about his past. Mm. Now, I've never dated anybody that much older. Despite three of his former wives leaving him high and dry with their kids and having only negative things to say about him, Precious tied the new turn knot to FFK in 2014 and subsequently had four children with him, all sons. Now I felt pity for a man who claims to have helped lots of people and everybody has left him in the states where he was. He was asking for kids because they black. I say getting black nose like... Oh, this person has published this, they called you a gold digger. Uh, to shut out their insinuations, I think it is best you give me sons. Mm. You know, I don't have sons. I have five daughters, but I don't have sons. You can look at the house, there's nobody, nobody visits me. I want kids. Right. So, we right. went for IVF. She first had a son in 2015 and a triplet in 2018. However, their marriage was troubled over what Precious described as FFK's physically and emotional abusive nature. In 2020, after six years, the calm mother of four finally decided she was done with the marriage and its drama. She managed to run away with the hope of coming back to get her kids. Sadly, this never happened. According to Precious, his male ego was completely bruised when she left him, and he has chosen to use her children to punish her for the shame. 
The two-time minister made it his newfound duty to ensure Precious never got to play the role of a mother to the young children. According to the ex-beauty queen, he has made threats to her life, had the police intimidate her, got her locked up over trumped-up charges, and gone as far as calling her all sorts of derogatory words, calling her sick, so that people can dismiss her claims of wanting to see or raise her kids. Not wasting time, he has even gone ahead to get himself another young beauty queen whom he is currently flaunting on social media. But Precious has made it clear she is only interested in being a mother to the kids she birthed and not dragging over a man she has no interest in anymore. For over one year and five months, she made it a duty to fire back at the ex-minister using her social media page to call for help from lawyers, people in power and women's rights organizations. Her fight has been reduced to nothing more than court appearances that lead absolutely nowhere. Interestingly, things are escalating. The fight for her kids has grown even bigger as Precious takes the heartbreaking case to Nigerians, crying to the court of public opinion with a torch. In this day and age, without a doubt, the court of public opinion can sometimes help to influence or fasten a court ruling. After one year and five months, the mother of four has become more desperate to see her children or at least share custody with their father after she got the approval of a judge to see her kids. However, she said FFK has been denying her access and doesn't show up for court hearings. The lawyer representing him continues to cook up stories about why she cannot visit her children, the latest of them being that one of her sons contracted COVID-19. There's a court order that I should see my children and that both lawyers should make an arrangement for my children to spend some time with me this Christmas. Well, apparently his lawyer wants to go on an appeal for me not to have the opportunity to see my kids this period now the thoughts of my children with injuries and other things that i might not know drives me sick every second i think about it precious to Quindu's public cry for help and in, and in hopes of seeing her children at least for christmas has got people on social media emotional as many stomped ffk pages using the hashtag justice for precious and hashtag justice for snow white to tell the politician to release the children to their biological mother ffk as expected tried to divert public attention by sharing a video of his kids having fun with their nannies saying there is no visible scars no bruises no head wound no covid 19 adding that their mother has been granted access to come to his house and see the children but she refused Sadly, no one is buying his side of the story anymore, while some pointed out the video was staged. I would call an ex-husband or give someone the credit of being a husband mm -hmm. if before and after we still have an amazing friendship or relationship. Right. But if it's turned into a monstrous relationship where mm -hmm. one person wants the other person completely out of the surface of the earth, mm -hmm. I think I'll be wise enough to say the father of my children because that's the bond left. Right. I'm just appealing to mothers, to women, to every good person who has a conscience to please help me. I'm tired, really, really tired. It's getting depressing. It's taking forever. I've been in court since March. He keeps finding a way to stall things he went on appeal for service that stalled that very custody proceeding and then i had to file another process withdrawing the first process please i just want to see my children nigerian celebrities have also started lending their voices to the heartbreaking mother of triplets Top fashion designer Tony Lawani was the first female celebrity to cap at him, branding him a bully. Movie producers and actress Mary Remy Njoku has also thrown her weight in support of Precious, saying no matter her wifely offense, she remains the mother of her kids and deserves to play a role in their life. BB Niger star Messi AK has also shown support for the minister's estranged wife. Hello everyone. Hello, we all know about this, uh, this issue. But I think it's high time we do something. I don't know Miss Precious in person, but from the video I saw online today. But other celebrities such as Messi Johnson, Victoria Inyama, Dabota Lawson, and several others. 
The question now is, will FFK, a man who dreams of becoming the president of Nigeria someday, listen to Nigerian celebrities and mothers and grant his ex-wife access to her young babies? It's not a crime, I just want to see my children. Okay, they should present them somewhere so I can physically assess them and be at rest that my kids are fine. That's all I'm asking for. Let me see my kids at least. It's, it's over a year. I have tried trying to behave myself, trying to package myself. No mother will keep packaging herself. All I'm asking for is to see my kids. That's all. Share your opinion and what you think about this case in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.